If you don't know this about me already, I am gonna make it crystal clear for you. I do not like vacuuming. However, as an allergy sufferer, a pet owner, and of course, a hater of dust, vacuuming is necessary. So today, I'm gonna to give you a little education on how to vacuum a carpet, how to vacuum a rug, and a shag rug. So in less than, I don't know, seven minutes, you're gonna be able to dance circles around your mom, your local vacuum salesperson, or that know-it-all neat freak that drives you crazy. Let's talk about why you have to vacuum. Carpets are like sponges. They absorb everything from crumbs to debris, pet hair and dander, old snacks, fingernails, you name it. And it is our duty as humans to vacuum our carpets and keep our homes healthy. But what if you have hard floors? Well, you still need one. Brooms are nice, but vacuums rule. Pushing and sweeping dust around just kicks it up into the air like what you do when you're sweeping. So while you might not see that dust for a day or two, it will actually resettle in no time onto surfaces that you have already dusted. So the idea with vacuuming is, it actually removes dust from your environment and stops the cycle of it being kicked around. I don't care if you have hard floors or carpets, if you don't like dust, you need a vacuum. All right, it is time to get vacuuming. Let's kick things off by covering how to vacuum your carpet. Here's what you need to do. Ensure your bag or canister is empty and ready to go. Pick up any large pieces of debris or toys or anything else that's on the carpet that you don't want getting sucked up in your vacuum. Move any furniture that you can. Select the right attachment for the job. Now, most vacuums these days come with a variety of tools and it's your job to know which ones to use. So check your manual really quickly, but just to give you a quick overview, this is typically what you're going to see for a carpet vacuum. It's got what's called a power head or a beater bar, which helps dig up all of that gunk in your carpet. The other thing that you might wanna use is this little detail tool also known as a crevice tool because that will help you get right into the edge where the carpet meets the baseboard. We have a video that goes into all of the finer details about your vacuum and its attachment, so I'll link that for you down below. Now, a quick reminder here, you'll wanna make sure you're using the power head or the beater bar if your vacuum has one because that helps brush things like dust and hair out of the carpet, and that's what you wanna accomplish when you're vacuuming. Find the outlet closest to the exit point of the room and plug your vacuum in there. Now, start at the opposite corner of the exit point of the room to make sure you don't vacuum yourself into a corner. To get those beautiful cut lines, you're going to do what I call the W pattern, which basically means you're gonna walk that vacuum up in a straight line and then you'll pull it back down on an angle and then you'll go up on a straight line and pull it back down on an angle. There you go, beautiful cut lines. What I find easiest when I'm vacuuming a large space is to work section by section. And if you have furniture that's in the way, I know sometimes you guys mention that that's a little bit challenging for you, just do your best. Sometimes you really can't get things perfect on the carpet and that's okay. Now let's talk about vacuuming smaller rugs. Since rugs can be made from a variety of different materials, you wanna make sure that you check with the manufacturer or the care label on the back of the rug to ensure that you're going to do the right cleaning protocol and that will help you pick what tool and what setting to use. Now remember, you wanna clean your rug before you clean the floor beneath it because you'll be pushing some debris around in the process. Now, if your rug has something like fringe or any tassels, you have to be careful and make sure that you don't vacuum it because it could get sucked up in the vacuum, which will likely lead to damage. Now, shag rugs are an interesting beast, but I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done. Start by flipping your rug over and select the beater bar for this task. Now, use your feet to carefully secure the edges of the rug so that they don't flip up. Now, you'll vacuum the back of the rug because this helps to shake out and loosen any debris, which of course will fall on the floor below the rug. When that's done, roll the rug up and place it aside. Now, you'll vacuum the area underneath, which has been dumped on. 
Once clean, unroll the rug facing right side up into its rightful place and use a small brush attachment to vacuum up any visible debris. This brush is okay to use because it won't damage most rugs, but of course always check in a hidden spot first and review care instructions before vacuuming anyway. Since you're always asking in the comments about the vacuum I am using and many of you have probably noticed, I have a new one. I will put a bunch of info up on the blog about this vacuum and maybe one of the other ones that you've seen around here lately. The blog's at cleanmyspace.com. I've also got a ton more information up there about different creative ways you can use a vacuum and what all these dang attachments are for. So be sure to check it out. This week's comment question is, what vacuuming conundrums do you have? If you let me know in the comments down below, I can do some sleuth work and see if I can figure it out for you. And if you make any sexy vacuum cut lines or W patterns, I would love to see them. So please be sure to tag me on Instagram. I am at Melissa Maker, the camera operator and husband is at the Chad Reynolds and we are at Clean My Space. There's a button down there that lets me know you care. So click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Here we are at that special time where it's the end of the video and I get to throw you to two other videos I think you're gonna love. The first one is five vacuuming tips. This is basically gonna teach you how to vacuum. And the second one is a vacuum tour and only Melissa Maker would ever be able to provide you with a vacuum tour. Now it is a bit of an older video but if you are curious as to what I have in terms of vacuum swag, definitely check that one out. Don't forget to find us on cleanmyspace.com which is our website full of tips, tricks, product reviews, our newsletter and all kinds of other cool things. cleanmyspace.com. Anyway guys, I'll see you next time.